where was your favorite place to do it? Okay. Um, I don't know why they used was because it's not like we're celibate at this point. What's up, dudes? dudes? Guys, we are so pumped that you are here with us right now because we're You're doing, here. You're here, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe that the dudes love these videos that much. I think they like it because all the TMI. <laughs> Yeah, we, we do give a lot of TMI. We do, videos. it's too much information, but you know. They clicked on the video. We have this massive thing of sushi and edamame. The hugest chunk of wasabi Whoa. I've ever seen. First question for you, babe. Oh, you're asking me questions. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you guys enjoy role playing? Matthew, that is so, what? That is so weird. I don't, I don't, we just really don't do that. No, we don't really do that. I mean, no, we don't do that. I've tried, and, it just was, and it's just is really weird. Yeah, I don't think that's ever gonna work between us. Yeah, and we would just start laughing. Yeah, I would feel super uncomfortable. We did do acting our first semester of college, so we kind of we do like playing roles. I think that I would rather just see you be you and maybe me. Yeah, it's the best role to play. Totally. Are there times you get annoyed at Matt without any reason? Yes. Yeah, because sometimes you like you'll be like Abby, what's wrong? And I'm just like I don't know, but you're just. Because I think that everyone needs alone time sometimes. Yeah. And so, like, if he's not even doing anything wrong, he's just there. It's like, you're annoying me because I need alone time. Like, totally. we both need time independent of each other to just kind of fill up our tanks. Yeah. And then we can be together again. Totally. I think being around each other 24 7, mm -hmm. we can definitely butt heads. Anytime you're spending a lot of time with somebody, I feel like it's extremely common to just get annoyed with them just being there. On the flip side of things, Matt will be gone for like, to surf for like a couple hours and I will miss him so bad. Abby, do you prefer shaved or hairy legs? Do you prefer my legs hairy or shaved? I prefer your legs shaved. Mm, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ew. I just lost the bean. Where did it go? Do we prefer lights on or lights off? We have different answers for this one. We always do You're lights right. on. You're right. We always do lights on because it's what you like. <laughs> but I prefer I feel, lights off. Now you're making me feel bad. I don't know why, I just feel like more romantic with the lights off. But with the lights off though, it takes away part of the fun. For you. Yeah. Like you don't go, you don't go to a movie and just say, "Oh, we I'm gonna, always I'm gonna have close my, on. I'm gonna close my eyes and just listen to the movie." Like you want to watch the movie too, you know? I close my eyes anyway. Uh, well, okay, I do close my eyes too, but then I will open them. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It just depends. It depends. Every time I open my eyes for a split second, you're always looking at me. It's not like <laughs> <laughs> you're serious. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. I'm sorry. Does that freak you out? No, I mean, I'm used to it by now. We always have lights on, but I prefer lights off. I just feel more confident. I feel more confident with lights off. Dang, that makes me sad because like, I don't it's know. It's not that I'm not I just, confident. I just feel more comfortable in the dark. I'm I just sorry, love I don't you. have I just love you so much and I think you're so beautiful. And so it's like, dude. It just feels romantic in the dark. I don't know why. Yeah. It just feels romantic. Sometimes with the overhead light on, I'm like. Dimmed. I don't want to just have freaking like lights galore. <laughs> Fluorescent bulbs. Fluorescent <laughs> bulbs, like the whole ceiling covered in lights. No, like we gotta, you gotta have some yes, sort some of like. Ooh. <laughs> and speaking of that, we gotta start initiating music again. Okay, this is getting okay, too far. Okay, next question. Next, next question. Next question is the real question is Did you like the video and click the subscribe button yet? If you haven't done it yet, you should do it right now. That would like be awesome. Thank On you. this video, I'm gonna read and personally like every comment. Unless it's a mean comment, then I'm gonna delete it. Are you serious? I'm gonna read and like every comment on this for video. For the first day? For uh, or, or first hour? No, for the first day. Oh my gosh. You're awesome, babe. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, so if you've seen this right now, comment. We can interact with you. Can you shout it up in the comments? Please don't be offended by this one, but this is a guy who is asking you as a girl, why are girls <clears throat> so emotional. I ask myself that question every single day of my life. I probably cry almost <laughs> six out of seven days out of the week. You guys, we totally fit the stereotypical mold of like a guy and a girl with Abby being way more emotional than me and I I don't know how to communicate my emotions sometimes. I don't know how to feel certain emotions because I'm just not emotional like Abby is. Like that's totally us. I think that I feel like I sometimes I'm really annoyed by my emotions because I'm like, mm -hmm. They get in my way sometimes because yeah. it's like I'm 
externally showing everything that I'm feeling. So then it's like, I can't think clearly sometimes because just like, okay, this, I'm act like all these emotions are hitting me. They're distracting me. Yeah. You really do wear your emotions on your sleeve. Yeah. I don't really hide anything. Like if there's, I'll cry to a stranger if yeah. I have to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I have very little control over my emotions. Yeah. But then also on the flip side, I'm very, very empathetic. So like if someone's going through a really hard time, mm -hmm. I feel like I can more so than like you put myself in their position and be like, oh, if I well, was going through that. There was one time, Abby told me there was one time she went to a funeral and then she was crying more. Uh, she was crying more than a family member was about the loss. because I was like feeling Cause, it. Because Abby's so good at empathizing. Probably percentage wise, girls are going to be more emotional than Probably guys. Probably just because of hormones. Because of hormones too. But like also, I don't know, there's definitely guys that are more emotional than girls. I've seen my dad cry more than my mom. So in my family, it's like, it's reversed. Personally though, I think it's good that you're more like not not as emotional as yeah. me because I think it would get really out of hand if, if I was we were married. both emotional. Oh yeah. my gosh, that would or be a disaster. If, or if neither one of us was emotional. That wouldn't be good either. We bounce each other out. I love you. Yeah, I, sometimes I hate my emotions, but I know that they aren't all bad. The next question is, are there a lot of things that you do just because Matt will like it? So maybe the question would be like, do girls do stuff for guys just, just to please them? And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think both. I uh, think if I didn't, that would be rude of me. I mean, I think girls and guys, but like there's stuff I do all the time for Abby that like, it's just because I know that she'll be happy. I think stereotypically though, girls bend over backwards for guys more oh, than really? guys would for girls. I think it's, it boils down to maybe being a bit more thoughtful about things or being more invested in the relationship. Like this morning. Stereotypically. Okay, this is bad because I ended up not finishing it out, but I was going to make your breakfast and I remember thinking about it like, hey, I'm gonna make and Abby breakfast. And then I breakfast. noticed the eggs starting to get overcooked and then I was like, and oh. Then you, you did finish it out, so I'm really sorry and about I that. And I scrambled them myself. Okay. And I, I made my toast too. I did, I, and I buttered my toast. I was, I was gonna make your And eggs. I made the coffee. I got distracted, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. So now I was gonna But make... I was thinking about you and I was like, Abby would be so happy if I made her breakfast. So then and I got the eggs out, I got the toast out, put the e toast in the toaster, and I just kinda, I think I started editing in TikTok and I got, I got so distracted. distracted, I'm really sorry. But, but I was doing that because I care about Abby and I wanted her to know that I love her very much. But yes, I will do things just because Matt likes them. Okay, Abby, we wanna know what is one thing you can't stand about most guys? Like, is there something, oh, I know the answer. It's like if guys adjust their stuff. No, I wasn't even thinking about that. If you reach down and are adjusting, Abby thinks that's weird. And Abby hates it. If like, say I'm gonna spit, she hates spitting, first of all. That's what but I was thinking if I'm gonna of. spit, if I go like this, Oh my thing, gosh, that sound, hawking it. She like, hates it. And guys, I'm just letting you know, if you want a girl to like you, do not do that in front of a girl. Like, I, I feel like most girls, are just not about that sound. No, that's disgusting. I don't know how my um, my sister-in-law puts up with it with my older brother. <laughs> I don't know how she does it because it's it anno it it annoys me. And I like to spit. Like I I think spitting's great, but like, I like to spit. When, when my older brother Caleb spits, it's like, dude, why did you have to make a sound that loud to spit? Yeah, I don't like that sound at all. I hate spitting. So yeah, I think that's something that I don't like when guys do yeah. that. I have never met a girl that's just spitting. Yeah. I don't know why guys do it. I don't know why this question is worded this way, but it says, where was your favorite place to do it? Okay. Um, I don't know why they used was, because it's not like we're celibate at this point. So it's, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think we just kind of like our, our room pretty much. I like, prefer hotel rooms. Oh, hotel rooms for sure. <laughs> hotel rooms. Yes. Especially if it's, if it's like a really fancy hotel room, that's fun. Yeah, that's really fun. That's really fun. Oh, this is a really good question. Abby, what is something a guy can do that makes a girl immediately go, no, no, no? I mean, every girl's different, but for me, arrogance. I'm like, if a guy Ooh, is arrogant, yeah. I'm like, okay, back it up. Yeah, I think yeah. arrogance is a big red flag. I think a very hot temper is like really mm -hmm. scary because if mm -hmm. you're a female and, and there's like someone that's, you know, yelling and like, aggressive as a male like that's scary yeah. i also just think if someone's disrespectful to your parents or disrespectful of your personal boundaries that's like a red flag too totally totally respect is so important and i think i can second all those for girls too those are definitely red flags for girls before we were together i was like i don't like if a girl thinks she's really special being respectful point. of your friends your parents your you know yeah. family and of you and your personal boundaries that's like super important for me if a guy was like talking to me and was just like 
also just using vulgar language just like right off the bat i would be like yeah. i'm a lady or why are you talking to me like yeah. that dude something i don't do though is i really i'm really bad about not like opening say. the door for abby if she's getting in the I car don't, that doesn't really bother me i mean like I, i'm very capable of opening my own door sometimes we're with friends that are really good about that yeah and, and that will just it, walk past they, my door they open their wife's door and then i just kind of let abby do her own thing and i'm like oh well, actually, Abby will bring it up to me, and then I start to realize, oh, I totally, like, dropped the ball on that. Well, it's just funny, because, like, I feel like you would do it if you saw the other guy yeah. doing it, but then you just, like, it doesn't even cross your mind. Yeah. But you know that I'm a strong, independent woman, so think, you know that I can open I think door. most important, though, it's about the heart more than anything. Exactly. You could have a guy that opens the door for you. But it's a that total does booty. all that, but could be a total booty, and it's just his heart. Also, check out this beautiful view right now. I just want to show them where we're at. Go this ahead, is gorgeous. Um, this is our view as we're making this video. That is so pretty. Babe, a girl sent in, why is Matt so hot? I'm asking myself this every single day. Honestly, like when we first started dating, I would go places and this was bad, don't do this, but I would be like, everyone here is wondering how she's got that hot of a guy. No, Abby, you were so beautiful. That's how I felt, because I was just like, you were so I wasn't beautiful. even that insecure, but it was just like, Matt is that attractive that I was just like. You're being silly. It don't add up. The guys want to know, Abby, what is it like to have sore boobs? Sore boobs? Yeah. I've experienced that this morning. Like, is there another body part we could relate it to? Like, does it feel like, say I do some squats. You really can. If I do some squats and my and my, my glutes are sore, does it, does it feel like that? No, because like imagine a part of your okay. body you literally have no control over. So then when you move, oh. you can't like brace it. So it's just that like. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, it hurts. And I experienced hmm. that really bad. You know I experienced that really yeah, bad. Yeah, that's no Some fun. girls don't really get that, but I get that really bad. And like, I'll be walking mm -hmm. and I'm just like, Ugh. What's optimal size? I don't know what type of size it's asking about. I'm going off of height. We're gonna say height, okay? To keep it a little bit more PG-13 in this video. I'm 6'2". Do you like that I'm 6'2"? Do you yeah. wish I was taller, shorter? If I was 5'8", like, would that have been a deal breaker for you? Like, what would is that? Would not have been a deal breaker, but really? I like that you're tall. You do, okay. Mm -hmm. Are there tall girls that are mad at you for taking a guy that's 6'2"? I'm two? sure, because like, they're like, okay, it leaves the tall guys for us because you're 5'2". <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I honestly don't feel like I'm that much shorter than Matt, but I realize I am a foot shorter. So. I love that you're a little lady. You do? I think it's so precious. Oh. I think you're so cute. Do you and know I that I don't feel short? And my That's I, what's so funny is I Abby go about my life short. and I'm like, no one here is thinking I'm short. Yeah. I'm just like an average sized woman out here. <laughs> Sometimes I feel tall. Manscaping question mark. And honestly, like I I feel like I know what your answer is, Abby. Abby likes my chest to be shaved, my happy trail to be shaved, but she doesn't want me touching stuff lower than that, okay? What happens No, 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 Can I say it in a, like, No, no, you can't. That's too far. Can I just say, like, one sentence? But I won't, like, I won't give up too much information. Um, we might have to edit it out. We can edit it out if it makes you uncomfortable. Abby doesn't like if I shave, like, everything, 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 if you know what I'm saying? Because then when it grows back in, it gets, like, all pointy. Yeah. And it can be painful. That's Matt, all I'm gonna Matt, say. Don't say that. Just say it gets prickly. So it gets it's prickly. Not okay, Abby. Guys, want to know? Do you hate working out on your period? No. Oh, it, really? It's hard to get going. Yes. Yeah. But oh my gosh, it makes you feel better. It's way harder to work out on your period. It's way, way, way harder. But it really can help mm. the way you're feeling. So yeah, I think it's best to, if you're able to, to work out on your period. Hey, here's some sushi. Would get, you like no, some get sushi? out of here. I'm full. Hey, how about you I've had some? like 15 pieces eat of enough, sushi. Abby, would you leave me if I cheated on you? Wow. That's a really hard hitting question. Um, I, I feel tough answering this because it's like if I say yes, yeah. I'm not sure how accurate that is. But if you say, if I say no, yeah. then you have like I don't free think will to go cheat. If you cheated on me, I wouldn't leave you unless it was like a consistent thing. Like I say, I take you back, and then it's like, oh, you cheated again. I feel like if the second time would be, that's where I'm. Well, that's if, where I'm like. If you out. cheated and then you refuse to go to counseling. Yeah. Oh, then that's like. Yeah, I that's would true. Be like, say you cheated done. and you're like, it's not a big deal. Then it's like, are you kidding me? Like that is a huge deal. If you refuse to go to counseling, I would leave you. If it was a repeat thing, then yeah, I probably would leave you. But I don't. I don't think that it would just be like, okay, Matt hooked up with somebody one time. Like, would that break my heart and really, really put some barriers in our relationship? Oh yeah. Yeah. But would I just immediately leave you? No. Yeah, I agree. I think I would say the same thing for me. I also don't 
think that's gonna happen. I don't see that happening either. <laughs> Matt is very loyal and yeah. I'm, also, everybody I'm knows who you are on social media, loyal. so I feel like it'd be so easy to catch. So many snitches out there. <laughs> so you'd be so screwed. Especially, I don't have a desire to. Yeah. Like, same. If I if I if someone like were trying mm -hmm. to, I'd be like, I got my husband. Next question is, how and where do you like to be touched? Today. And I'm not gonna take this. We're gonna take this in a very just typical fashion because wow. I know the answer to that. Abby loves it if I like scratch her back. I do this like thing with my nails where I like go up and down like with my nails, and she loves Get that. Get this. On her so back. sometimes you don't move. Okay, ladies, what do I do? you know this. Oh, if I just touch the same you area, you stay in the same spot, and it feels Sorry. like you're gonna dig a hole. Oh, in like my in your skin. head. So if I just have my hand doing this and I don't move it around your head, and you're you like, you usually what? get very distracted when you play with my hair. You're sorry. like digging a hole in my head. Oh, but sorry. you don't want to say anything because I'm like, yeah. Missy's playing with my hair. Yeah, I like it when you tickle my back and like my neck. I like it when you do this. Actually, Matt likes it when I do this. I do like Behind that. his ears like a little dog. Oh my gosh, keep doing that. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. <laughs> like what is something that is a turn on? If I play with your hair, that's probably a turn on, right? I think a turn on. Is it if I make you dinner? <laughs> what? It's so funny. You what are you about to scratching. What are you going to say? I like it. <laughs> um, turn on. Yeah. When you wear your blue light glasses. Really? Yes. That is funny. <laughs> you, Abby really likes it when I wear glasses. I should just wear glasses all the time. I feel like you think I'm way sexier with glasses on. Okay, here's a turn on. Quality time. Like when you're like, we're gonna go on a date and then we have a date and we have good conversation and we're holding hands and flirting, then I'm turned on. <laughs> What? This question's freaking hilarious. It says, 69 yay or nay? <laughs> Who are you asking? Nay. I mean, it's a yay for me. It's a nay for Abby. So, basically a nay. <laughs> I mean, every once in a while, it's a yay. Very rare if occasions. If there's a full moon. <laughs> a full moon. What the heck? A full moon. I don't know. Literally a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, this is so sad. What is it? Would you leave Matt if he was infertile? No. No, we would adopt. We would ado I but would we still want a sperm donor. A sperm donor? No, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. I personally would probably make the decision to adopt, just because uh -huh. there's so many kids that need parents. Yeah, so many kids that need parents, and so that's no. why we we do want to adopt. I I didn't marry Matt to have kids uh -huh. with Matt. I married Matt because I was in love with Matt. So if Wait, Matt, you want to have kids? I do want to have kids. Ah, okay. But yeah. like. I didn't, that's not the purpose why I married you. Mm -hmm. So then it's like, would you leave him if he was infertile? Mm -hmm. Now, would I have married Matt if he said from the get-go that he didn't want to have children? That would be a red flag. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, that's something that I want in my future. And then even it would be hard, but I probably wouldn't marry mm -hmm. you if you want, didn't want to have children, you know? And last question, you guys. But before we ask this question, oh my. I wanted to just say 75% of you aren't subscribed. So if you could please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 75? It really, yeah, 75%. It would mean so much to us. Like we appreciate you guys more than you can know. You guys have changed our life and we are just like so blessed to have you here. So go ahead, subscribe. It's super, super easy. And while you're at it, gently tap that like button because that like really helps us out. So we love you guys. Um, Thanks in advance. Yeah. Um, last question is at what age did you lose your virginity? Matthew James. What? It was when we got married. Yeah, so I was 20. And I was 21. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We've made seven of these juicy question videos now. We don't want to get like too, too personal, but we like to get personal because there were just so many questions we had when we were young and thinking about getting married and, and just also like being young and married that like it's it's helpful to know like how other couples- I look this stuff up. Yeah, like <laughs> we know that you guys are all curious and so we'd like to just kind of be someone to share some wisdom with you like other people did for us. <laughs> um, but if you've seen all seven of the videos so far, if we're gonna make another one where Abby asked me juicy questions, go ahead and comment down below. I've seen all seven because that would just be so cool to see everyone that's like literally watched every single video in this series. But you guys are awesome. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Yeah. And as always, three, two, one. Peace, Peace out, out, dude. dude. <laughs>